Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel you guys. Today I'm just going to be getting my nails done. I don't even want to show you. They look so crazy. I need to get them done. I've been getting, um, it's called dip powder lately. The people at the salon told me that it's really, really good for your nails. Well, a lot better for your nails. It has some vitamins in the powder and they don't use like the UV lighting to dry it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another try. Um, they were super thin and they broke off really easily, but that is because I bite my acrylics. Hopefully I can be a little bit more responsible this time with my acrylics. That is Poopy crying in the room. She wants to be held right now. Mimi's here. Um, we're just kind of like chilling for today um i do have an update for the vase that i'm supposed to get from wayfair i just called them again they told me that it was back ordered and now it's out of stock but i bought it but it's okay we're just moving forward so they are gonna send me well they're gonna refund my money from the first vase and then they're gonna send me a larger vase this one's like nine inches wide and ten inches tall so hopefully this fits i do need to measure it out um either way like it's bigger and bigger is always better so woo! <laughs> if you're wondering what my hair looks like a wet dog it's because it's raining outside and i've been outside and like we're just winging it so after I get my nails done, I'm actually gonna go to the at-home store and try to find some mauve pillows because I really want something to give my room a little bit, my living room, a little bit of a pop. So yeah, let's go. So I decided to stop at the at-home store first. Um, I just got this clearance queen comforter. It's like this really pretty floral pattern. So this will go in Mimi's room. And whenever we get her sheets and comforters washed at the cleaners, I like to just have um, some fresh ones so there's not that like awkward waiting period of like, you know, I don't have sheets, so I don't really want to lay down. So I like to just keep a bunch of these on hand. Now I'm just looking through all of the Easter decor that they have, and my gosh, it is so freaking cute. So what I'm thinking of doing is these little coasters, these little bowls are $2.99. I want to get a couple, and then I want to get some cute eggs. Not sure if these are the eggs that I want to go in here, but yeah, like something like a bowl like this to kind of fill it up with eggs. Um, one thing that I'm noticing about myself is that I do want to kind of like stock up ahead of time because these shelves, at least at my store, get pretty empty pretty quickly. So I don't want to do like I did on Christmas and kind of just wait too late. So I'm going to um, give these shelves a nice sweep and then see what like small pieces I can find. I know Valentine's Day is coming up first, but I already got some candy um, for the apothecary jars that we have. So when Caleb comes home this weekend, I'm going to let him fill those up and that will be like Valentine's Day. We'll probably bake some cookies and things like that. Um, but we don't really do big for Valentine's Day but Easter we do a huge Easter egg hunt every year at our house and I kind of want to have like these bowls filled up with Easter eggs like around the house okay so now we're kind of in like the floral area I love what I'm seeing but I did just realize I don't want to go too crazy for Easter today because I want to go home and sketch out like a full plan for the home what I want it to look like exactly and then come back with like an idea um, that's kind of like set in stone because right now I would just be buying a bunch of things that I don't know if I want and don't have any idea how I would piece it together so um, I'm just gonna look around and then once I get home I'm kind of gonna look on like Pinterest and Amazon for some inspiration and see what exactly I want to do for the home like these are beautiful I don't even know what this is a garland <gasps> I'm in oh my gosh I get these now <sighs> Jesus this is so hard Okay, so the pillows that I'm looking for for the couch, the whole reason why we came, are this color. It's kind of like this dusty rose color. I love it so much. And I wasn't anticipating finding flowers in this color, but um, I didn't even know they had a floral section at the at-home store, but here we are. And I found these, and they're so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and snag these. They're only $5.99, you guys. So love it. And then I kind of saw these, like, wormy-looking flowers. I kind of like those too, but I don't know if they look a little too, like, serpenty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'm gonna hang off for now but um i think they're really pretty um i just don't know if they would i don't know how it would go with the decor now that i'm looking these are so beautiful they look like that that movie what was it called the lorax yeah how freaking beautiful they're 2.99 i might pick these up too okay so this is the aisle of pillows there's actually a couple and i love how they color coordinate them but i'm looking for um i was looking for a smaller pillow but i'm not seeing any so i'm gonna look at these bigger ones um ones that can be like smushed down in the middle and like pointed up like doberman ears that's what i'm looking for but definitely this color um i really like this one how it's like got that velvet i don't know if you guys can see it i'll pull it out so you can get a better view Okay, so this is the pillow that I was talking about. I went ahead and I fluffed it and smushed it the way that I would on my couch. So I was looking for this, but to be the smaller pillow in front of the larger pillow, but honestly, that's perfectly fine. I love the detailing. It's so pretty. It's even got some gold shimmer. And this is just for reference, you guys, so you guys can see like exactly how close in color and how this is gonna bounce off of each other when it's actually 
in the home. So I got another one down below. Now I'm just gonna like look around and see if I can find the smaller ones. Oh, I need to see also if I can find some for the other pillow, not the other pillow, the other couch that we have. I don't wanna buy four of those pillows because they're kind of expensive. Um, so we're gonna look for some smaller ones. Okay, so this is the pillow that I found for the, it'll, it'll kind of like go in between the pillows that we have now. It's hard to explain. I would just have to show you when we get home. It's kind of a cross between like pink and purple. So I'm really um, actually unsure about this one, but this aisle, this entire aisle is 50% off. So all of this has like the stripe on it somewhere on the tag and it's all gonna be 50% off. So I'm gonna try and find some more pillows um, that are on sale. So I didn't end up finding anything else um, that was like compelling. I was really looking for like a striking pillow in either texture or color, um, but I didn't find it. I do think this one's a really cute texture and this pattern is just adorable, but the shape is rectangular and that's honestly not what I'm looking for. So I'm cool to just come home with these pillows. That's totally fine with me. So we're gonna go home. Um, well, first we're gonna see if there's anything else we need in the store and then go home and set these up. All right, you guys, so I am home and I just wanna show you like what the entire living room looks like before I do the pillows. So just normal, very beige. Keep in mind that's leaving and those two are leaving. So yeah, it kind of feels like there's nothing special to see here. Like it's all just very monotoned and that's like the only pop of color. So we're about to change that. Okay, you guys, so I haven't changed the flowers yet, but this is what the couch looks like with just that like pink pop of color. It's very, very subtle, which is exactly what I wanted. I do kind of need to move the pillows around exactly how I want them to be. I haven't really figured that out yet, but okay, that's definitely not it. Probably just gonna zhuzh this one over. Hold on, let me do that. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. So um, that throw is actually gonna get replaced as well. I don't know where I'm gonna put that, um, but it's definitely not gonna be in here. I just only get fits. It's a little too gray. Um, yeah, Poopy's upstairs with Mimi. She's been talking a lot lately, so you guys, so she's not crying. She's just, whoo. She talks a lot lately. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch those out because now that I kind of have that subtle like rusty like rose look, um, it needs to be switched out for something more subtle here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and move those flowers and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this definitely gave the room a lot more of a glam look. So I'm gonna try and show you guys from this way because this is where the lighting is hitting. So I think that like dusty rose made the gold pop a lot more. I'm loving the way that it came out. The last thing that I need to do is get my freaking vase. Wayfair told me that it should come on Monday. Um, so hopefully that's the case because I think those flowers will look beautiful in that vase, like just stunning. So I do need to switch out that throw. Um, I'm thinking about adding like another like pop of pink here. It was gonna be that rectangular pillow, but like I'm so glad I didn't do that. Um, I would probably just do like two smaller pillows in front if I can find them and then something different over here too. I want to pop but not anything crazy. Um, but yeah, that is what the living room is looking like right now. Slowly but surely it's coming together. Okay, you guys, so this is what I've been drinking along with hot water and lemon every single night and my skin just feels so much better. So, um, Collagen is amazing for skin elasticity. I'm just kind of like allowing your skin to heal and just giving you that brighter like glow from within. So I get pure collagen. I actually have a guide that I will link down below on how to pick the most readily available collagen. So I'll link that down below. You guys really want to read it. It's just a couple steps. Um, but if you do choose to go out and get the collagen, definitely I recommend reading that before you make that purchase. So I just get some pure collagen some manuka honey this one has turmeric in it but i also get um i had this like big jar of like ground turmeric um, or you could use fresh if you wanted to and then i get some lemon and some hot water so i just fill about my mug with like that much water and then um i pour the hot water in i just get like a tablespoonful of the honey a tablespoon of the collagen and the, a couple dashes of this turmeric just to like reinforce that turmeric turmeric is amazing for inflammation y'all like amazing and i struggle with whew, asthma y'all my asthma's terrible so i've been on the turmeric my breathing has improved only slightly i still struggle with um asthma but um, I just feel less inflamed with this, less stuffy, Just I just feel a little bit clearer with the turmeric. And I've been doing it for a while now, um, and then I just 
slice off a huge chunk of this lemon probably up until here squeeze in a little bit and then put the rest in there and then i let it steep for maybe like three minutes and then i just go in you could if you wanted to add some apple cider vinegar if you felt brazen you could do you could also add some bentonite healing clay um this is amazing but it tastes like dirt so most people use this as a mask um these two you just mix those together and it draws out the toxins and impurities in your skin. It's amazing, um, but I've been taking shots of this and it does the same thing that it does on the outside for the inside of you. Then I have this spirulina powder that I haven't cracked open yet. Um, I've been hearing a lot of amazing things about this, but I cannot speak on it because I haven't tried it yet. And then this super beets powder is just like having um, like juicing beets. It's just in powder form. So yeah, that is my concoction. Um, don't forget that I will link this down below you guys. So if you want to buy collagen, make sure you read that list before you make that purchase because it will save you a lot of trouble. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me and kind of just refreshing our living room. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!